first thing we're going to talk about doing is making what's called a frequency table. Now remember, we mentioned there's two types of variables, and I just want to give you a little tour of the data set we're going to be using as our sample. This is data from a vet's office, and what the receptionist did was write down what type of animal came in, what, why they were there, and what gender they were. And she gave those codes, and you can see the little key over here that tells you that zero stands for cat, one for dog, two for bird, three for other. One stands for a routine checkup, two for illness, three for an emergency. And then we have zero for male, one for female. These columns right here are what are called qualitative variables because they are coded in numbers that don't necessarily mean anything. A different receptionist may have chosen one for dog, uh, zero for, um, or one for cat, two for dog, three for bird, four for other. Because the numbers don't have numerical meaning, they're just codes, we call them qualitative. These variables here, the weight of the animal in pounds, the age in years, and the cost of the vet visit are what are called quantitative variables because those have numerical meaning. And we can very directly compare the numbers. There's no really different way to interpret those. Those have numerical meanings. So those are our quantitative, and that's a difference we're going to use several times throughout the course. Okay. Now the first thing we're going to do is talk about making a frequency table for qualitative variables. And I'm going to choose to do a frequency table for animal type. And what I want Excel to do for me is to count up how many cats came in, how many dogs, how many birds, how many others. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a little table. And to do this, I'm going to type in uh, the different categories it's going to count. So it's going to count the number of cats, dogs, birds and other animals, maybe a hamster or ferret or something like that. And then it's going to count up how many of each type. So I'm going to label that frequency. Now you don't have to go through and physically count these yourself, although you can because there's not much data. Excel will do it for you, which is very nice because if we had a lot of data, we would not want to be counting this ourselves. So we can insert a function. So we're going to go up to the formulas tab and choose insert function. And the one we're looking for is count if. Now mine hot happens to pop up because I've recently used it. But if you don't see it, you can type in the box count if and it will do a search for you. Or you can look through the list of functions and they are in alphabetical order, but I do recommend the search. And we're going to say okay. A box comes up that asks us for a couple things. In the range box, I want to highlight the column I want it to count, and I want it to count the animal types. And for cats, I'm going to put in zero, because cats are represented by the number zero. And then I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to automatically count for me there are five cats. Now, I'm going to do the same thing again. And you can go the same the same route where you insert the function, and now it should pop up as a most recently used function, count if, because you just used it. Highlight the animal type, and dogs were the number one. And say OK. Or if you want to, you can go up to the formula bar here and copy and paste that formula. And then I'm going to hit the Enter key just so I get out of the formula bar. And then I can paste that formula and just change the very last number so I don't have to go through highlighting all that column again. I could change that to 2 for birds, and then I could do it again, making sure that the right cell is selected. Paste that formula. I don't want it to count number 1s. I want it to count number 3s for others. So that's a good, a good shortcut. And now I have a frequency table. Now when you copy and paste this over to the Word, you probably want it to have the borders in between the cells, like we're used to seeing a table written. And this is easy to do by highlighting the table, choosing the copy, or I'm sorry, i am got to do the um, formatting first, choosing format, and I want to choose an outline, and I want to choose inside borders to be to be turned dark, and that's going to turn it into the table like we're, we're used to seeing. Now I can copy this and send it directly to a Word document. 
just by pasting. And there you have a frequency table for your quantitative data.